Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's show, we talk about paint protection. So you probably all know about traditional carnauba waxes and paint sealants to protect your paint. But in the last years, there have been many developments in the car detailing world. And now the most advanced form of paint protection are ceramic coatings. So the coating world is quite large. And today we're going to talk about one specific product from a company called Ammo. And it's the Ammo Reflex Foundation Coat. Now, this is a coating offering from Ammo, and it's pretty cool because the main focus was shine and ease of application. So stay tuned, you're gonna find out all there is to know about Ammo Reflex, including how to apply it, and I'll also give you some tips and tricks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome back to all my regular viewers, and for all of you for whom it's the first time that you watch one of my videos, well, if you wanna learn more about car detailing, tips, tricks, products, and techniques, well, you found the right channel. So make sure that you click the subscribe button found under this video, and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So in a recent video, I reviewed pretty much the entire lineup of ammo car detailing products. If you haven't seen that video, well, click the link up here and make sure you watch it, it's pretty cool. So essentially, ammo is a company based out of the United States, and they ship their products worldwide to over 72 countries. Uh, Larry Casilla, the owner and founder of Ammo NYC, is a professional detailer in the US and is quite known on the web. So shout out to Larry. What's up, Pan? It's Larry Casilla from AmmoNYC.com. I just wanted to thank you so much for that amazing review. I'm a huge fan of your channel. And if anyone's watching this and you're not subscribed to Pan, you should because he's doing some great things for the detailing community. And I'm a subscriber and a fan as well. You might be asking yourself, what the heck am I doing around all this uh, boxes and all this you know, wires and junk. Basically, this is my mobile detailing stuff that I carry around with me. And uh, it's sort of disorganized and it doesn't really match and it's kind of making me a little bit nuts, but it was the best solution I had for a long time. So I have a video coming out in the next couple of days on this new system, the Milwaukee Packout. Uh, I've been looking for something like this for probably like a year and a half or so to kind of organize all this and have it kind of look a certain way. And of course, I wanted it black and red. And this thing came out and I'm freaking out. So I want to show you guys uh, what this is all about, and I think it can help you organize your detailing stuff. So, as always, thanks for watching. I'm a huge fan of Pan. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed, like as he says, smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Uh, by the way, this is not a sponsored video, so Ammo did not pay me to talk about the product that we're talking about today. But essentially, I'll be reviewing the Ammo Reflex. So, what this is, if I get a closer shot here of the box, is a coating. So we all know that there are some traditional forms of paint protection, which are typically carnauba waxes, which are an organic and natural form of a product, and they typically last from two to three months. And the step above that is a synthetic paint sealant. Those last anywhere from five to six months, typically. And a form above that now are ceramic coatings or a coating like this one. This is Ammo Reflex. So this product is petroleum based and it'll last you anywhere from nine to 12 months. But Larry suggests that you apply it every six months and why not? And that way you maximize the gloss and protection on your paint and you also rejuvenate the base layer of your coating. So he calls this the Ammo Reflex Foundation Coat because this should serve as the base coat of protection. So the base layer of protection on your paint. So I'm gonna show you how to use this, how to prep your car properly, and you're gonna see how easy it is to apply. There are many advantages to using a product like this. So when developing this product, Larry basically had two things in mind. The first and foremost was the shine and gloss. So that was at the top of the priorities list. And number two was the ease of application. So this product is super simple to apply, contrary to many coatings out there, which need some infrared lamps for curing or many hours of buffing the paint afterwards to remove or wipe away the coating. This is almost a wipe on, wipe off application. So you're gonna see how easy it is to apply. I'll give you all the necessary tips and tricks. I'll apply this on my own BMW 4 Series. So when designing this coating, Larry was aware that a car's paint is actually flexible as it needs to move and react with the changing temperatures. So some heat and some cold. 
So there are some flex agents that are present in your paint and he designed the Ammo Reflex to be also able to move and to flex with that paint, hence the name Ammo Reflex. So this product is very versatile, meaning that you can apply it to paint, you can apply it to black plastic trim and moldings, you can apply it to chrome and to rims as well. So the instructions for applying the Ammo Reflex paint coating are super simple. First, as I always recommend during car detailing, never work in direct sunlight. So you can work in a garage or in a shaded area. And also keep in mind that the optimal working temperatures for applying this product are anywhere between 50 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 to 24 degrees Celsius. So first, you're gonna wash your car to remove dust, dirt, and contaminants. I recommend adding a bit of all-purpose cleaner or dish soap to your wash solution, and that way you'll be able to loosen or remove any previous layers of old waxes or paint sealants that might be on your paint. optional step is to clay your paint but only if your car needs it. So run your fingers across the paint and if you feel any bonded contaminants well obviously you're going to want to remove those so you can physically decontaminate your paint using a clay bar and you can also apply an iron remover to chemically decontaminate the paint. Next you're going to dry the paint using either a microfiber drying towel or a leaf blower or car dryer. Next, you're gonna do an IPA wipe on the paint. So an IPA is an isopropyl alcohol mix. You essentially spray it on the paint and wipe with a microfiber towel. And this will remove any leftover contaminants or oils that might be left from your polishing stages or any leftover wax or paint sealant residue that also still might be left on the paint. This way, you'll make sure that your paint is squeaky clean and that way you'll ensure a maximum bond between the ammo reflex coat and your car's paint. Now, there are some premixed IPA solutions for you to use such as CarPro Eraser or Gion Prep. So once your paint is cool and dry to the touch, you'll want to grab a foam applicator pad and your Ammo Reflex paint coating. So you'll apply a couple of drops of the Ammo Reflex paint coating onto your applicator pad and you'll squeeze it or butterfly it to make sure that you evenly distribute the product on the applicator pad. Next, you're going to apply the product to the paint by wiping the foam applicator pad in overlapping straight lines. If you feel that your pad becomes grippy, well, simply add one or two extra drops of the Ammo Reflex coating onto the pad and continue applying. So 
it will take you roughly 15 to 20 minutes to coat your entire car. So this product is super fast to apply and it will dry to a haze. So you'll see that it will be absorbed onto the paint and it'll leave a hazy residue. That tells you that it's ready to buff off with a clean and dry microfiber towel. After you've applied your coat of Ammo Reflex and you buffed it off, make sure that you wait two to five hours before applying a second coat, because yes, you can layer this product, so that's pretty cool. Make sure you do not expose the vehicle to water during the two to five hour curing time. And once you're done applying your one, two or three layers of Reflex, well, I strongly recommend that you let it sit in a garage overnight. And if you want the following day, you can top off the Ammo Reflex with a coat of Ammo Skin. So that's the Ammo Paint Sealant. And you'll also be able to watch that in my Ammo Review that I talked about previously. So by the way, guys, with Ammo Reflex, a little goes a long way. So with one small bottle like this, you can do six to eight applications of a normal sized vehicle or roughly five applications to the bigger SUVs. So again, a little goes a long way. The gloss and the shine level is amazing. Uh, I was able to apply it on top of my existing ceramic coating on my car. So it should be compatible with most existing ceramic coatings. So another cool part of this. So Ammo Reflex is part of the paint regimen of the Ammo product lineup. And a paint regimen means that you maintain your car by detailing it over time. So the Ammo Reflex is the base protection coat of your car. And you can top it off with either Ammo Skin, which is a paint sealant, or Ammo Creme, which is a Carnuba based wax. So as you can tell, this product not only adds protection and shine to your vehicle, but it's also super easy to apply. So if you want an easy introduction into the coating world, well, the Ammo Reflex line of products is a great one. So if you want to continue learning tips, tricks, techniques, and products and equipment to use for car detailing, well, I highly recommend that you click the subscribe button that's found under this video. That way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.